the uh, demand for food will be 70% higher than it is now. Even today, close to a billion people go hungry every day. In the meantime, the resources that we have uh, to produce food is, is decreasing. Pushing the envelope, living on another planet, uh, on other plants, establishing colonies, will feed back and will have benefits on Earth and it will help us solving some of the problems on Earth. The Luna Greenhouse and its closed system is very unique. There's only one or two universities in the world that are continuing to work on this project. The Lunar Greenhouse System is an automated machine, uh, mainly uh, providing food, oxygen, and, uh, and water for astronauts. All we're doing is mimicking what the plant would expect to have if it was on Earth and make use of it for life support. The entire system of the Lunar Greenhouse does represent, in a small way, uh, the biological systems that are here on Earth. Lockheed Martin did a study and they, they identified South Pole Station as the, the best analog for Moon and Mars. Uh, their record low is 118 below zero Fahrenheit without the wind chill. It's the actual temperature. It was a great time. I, I spent 13 seasons down there, 13 summers. And Houston on the big loop for Robo, looking for a go for pump module maneuvers. How'd that go? You start with the, the astronauts, uh, put out carbon dioxide. You introduce it into the greenhouse and the plants convert it to oxygen. One volume of the lunar greenhouse, that, that space, that volume, is has been theorized to support one astronaut. We need very uh, reliable and sustainable systems uh, to keep the, the, the space explorers alive. And, and I think there's an interesting parallel here with now living on Earth. Everything has to be recycled. And whatever is the waste output from one unit within the system will have to be used as an input into another unit within that system. And so it really is useful to uh, apply uh, this particular principle uh, in, in cities uh, because that's where you could really increase the efficiency and the self-reliance of cities. And many people are thinking about this now, not just engineers, but young people that are dreaming about how they're gonna survive in the future. This, this revolution is all about recycling water and nutrients and alleviating a lot of the pressure from the natural lands that we're currently using for agriculture. Younger people, they see these problems and they think of these new and exciting ways to fix these problems. Thinking about it now is something that we're gonna have to do just to make the change happen in time.